651. Welcome back. The Federal Reserve has increased interest rates again, this time by a quarter of a percent. KUSI business editor Sully Sullivan joins us now to talk more about it. Sully, good morning. Hey, good morning, Lauren. You wanted some great news. That's some great news. That's really good news. Yeah, it looks like they're pumping the brakes a little bit, yeah. but it was the eighth increase in a year, and there yeah. was an indication that we could see at least two more hikes. What's your take on this move and what it could mean going forward? Well, you have to, you have to uh, probably overlay it to the fact that we had about, I don't want to think, 12 uh, interest rate drops <laughs> preceding that. So, um, look, the, it, we, you know, the, the, there's there's a strongly held belief among investors that stock performance in the first month of the year predicts performance for the rest of the year. There's one reason the stocks are rallying, and that's because the markets bake in good news or bad news uh, ahead of time. And and this news has been baked in for a while because one of the main jobs of the central banks is to keep prices under control and and spending under control. And and how they do that in, in cases like this, going back to the Going back to the 80s, as they increased interest rates to uh, to sort of uh, to sort of tame the demand side of the equation. So this is really good. Um, this is one of those things that we expected. Um, I think the market rallied because uh, the market market rallied uh, all through January because they were expecting a 50 percentage point rate increase. We got a 25 percentage point rate increase. So I think we're going to see the same thing. Uh, you know, if there's going to be a couple more interest rates, keep in mind. If they do the same thing going forward, um, it's going to be the equivalent to one interest rate increase last year. Remember, 75 basis points. So, if you think about this, you know the Fed's been fighting a war on inflation. They're not done yet, um, and 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 when inflation started to rise in the aftermath of the pandemic, um, you know that's the only sort of arrow they had in their quiver because they they misjudged it. Remember that word transitory we talked about? <laughs> the, you know, inflation exploded. And, and it wasn't transitory. So this is great news. And as I mentioned to you a couple of weeks ago, I think I think inflation peaked about June of last year. And I think if you, if you sort of see the the climb up and then look at the climb down, I think we're going to be in a pretty good space because, you know, we're seeing one of the greatest comebacks of all time here regarding the stocks. I mean, the Dow's was up 3% in January. S&P was up 6% in January. Um, and the NASDAQ's best month is July. So this is uh, this is all good news finally. And, and this morning, uh, breaking news here on KUSI, U.S. employment rate fall to 3.4 percent. That's the lowest level since 1969. So we created 517,000 jobs. So things are moving in the right direction. There's there's definitely more than light at the end of the tunnel, Lauren. Well, I, I love that. Uh, we we do also look at consumer spending and take the temperature there. How much consumers are feeling comfortable or trusting that everything is uh, on solid ground? Uh, we saw some companies say, like Apple, big companies that you think, OK, aren't going to be affected, uh, reporting a little bit of a decline. Maybe consumers aren't spending with those big purchases. I don't know. Do you think consumers are just kind of waiting to see? Well, no, I think I think we're still spending. I think otherwise the inter the interest rates wouldn't be going up. I mean, I, I don't think we'd see any rate increase if we had our spending tamed. I mean, keep in mind there's still a huge demand out there. It was because of overstimulus. We're still feeling the effects of that. And again, right. keep in mind uh, when we think about this um, uh, um, with respect to raising interest rates, we don't really know the lagging effects. As I mentioned the other day to Paul of these interest rates increased from last year. And one of them might be that we stop spending at all, which would not be a good thing. No. <laughs> uh, and, and because 70% of our economy is based on consumer spending. Remember, the GDP is a report card to our economy. Everything's based upon that. Um, I believe it, it, you know, that we are already in a recession. I, we had two quarters of, of uh, declining GDP. I think the rest of the world defines it the same way. And, and I, can, I can tell you, um, that that this is some great news that we're seeing, but the, the fight's not over because we're still spending more money than we probably should. Um, and again, it's based upon overstimulus by this administration. And I'm not being political here. I'm just calling balls and strikes. It is what it is. We we didn't need the last two uh, stimulus checks. We we needed the, we needed the first one to get us going. And I think the rest of us put us over the top, along with the supply chain issue that we saw here. And the Fed seemed to indicate that uh, the global economy is not you know, as much in peril as it was yeah. a year ago, which is also great news. So it looks like things are looking up, <laughs> Sully. <laughs> yeah, there's a growing sense on Wall Street that, that uh, the Fed's going to sort of stop with the interest rate increases by the middle of the year. Um, we're seeing sort of a gradual slide back into 
uh, normalcy. You know, remember we flipped the switch off of this economy. It's it, and it's going to come back like a sunrise. It's been a three-year sunrise. Yeah. But but it's a uh, bottom line. Um, the, you know, the pace of the rally in January is setting the tone for this year on the stock side. The pace of the Fed's interest rates is setting the tone on the economic side. I think it all sort of uh, everyone should be pretty happy going into this weekend. There's a little bit of a sigh of relief. So so uh, we can I, I'm not saying to breathe easy quite yet. But we can start breathing at least because we weren't breathing at all last year at this time. Exactly. All right. Well, we'll walk with an extra little pep in our step, right. Sully. Thank you so much. Always appreciate you it. Are. Talk See to you soon. soon. See you tomorrow at 11. On the air. Yes, on the air with Sully.